Up next in our double KEM with every gun series is the Vepper. Gameplay in the background is by SwagXBL, and lately he's been going HAM on the KEM upload, so make sure you check out his channel. Link will be down in the description. And me personally, I think the Vepper is the best SMG in the game. That's right, better than the MTAR X. It's got more ammo in the clip, a faster reload, better iron sights, higher rate of fire, and lower recoil, but what do I know? All of the pros seem to use the MTAR X. They must be doing something right. Additionally, in this class setup, up here he's using the suppressor and extended mags but for me I like to go the muzzle brake because I'm loud and proud just like my commentaries and the grip because my aim is super califragilistic XBL atrocious and I don't need 42 bullets but hey I don't have a double KEM strike with this gun either so why are you guys taking advice from me anyways on to the commentary topic and it's going to be the new laws that have just been put into place once the clock has turned to 2014 we saw all these new year's resolutions videos and best of 2013 I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spin on this New Year's topic here with some of these weird laws that I've dug up from different states in the United States first one here Illinois and California made it illegal for employers to either require or request social media passwords from job applicants or employees I think that this is huge if I want to keep my life private from my employers then fuck them they don't have any right well there is the Patriot Act and all that shit but that's a Beside the point, my employer shouldn't know what I'm spouting out on social media, but at the same time, if I choose to make all of that stuff public and I get busted for saying something stupid, <coughs> Phil Robertson, <coughs> then sorry, then maybe I should get reprimanded by my employers. By the way, don't you hate it when people from your job ask for a friend request on Facebook? It's kind of weird, right? You don't want to say no because then you have to see them every day at work and offend them, but you also don't want them to know everything about your personal life. Sometimes you want to keep work and play separate. Sex offenders in Illinois will not be able to dress up as Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or give out candy during Halloween. This makes perfect sense, right? I mean, you might as well also put in the legislation, hey, sex offenders can't drive a white van around with candy spray painted on the side of it either. In Oregon, new mothers will now be able to take their placentas home for the hospital. Some experts say ingesting it has positive health benefits. Are you fucking kidding me? Isn't that like auto cannibalism? No, I don't want a placenta pee pizza or a placenta pie and you can keep your placenta platters at home the next time I invite you over for a party. I don't want to eat that shit. That shit is nasty. It has all the excrement from your fetus in it. Why do I want to chop on that? How do you cook a placenta anyway? Do you toss that shit on the grill just like the McDoubles that Swag XPL has been serving up during this gameplay? I don't know. Somebody's gonna have to leave a placenta recipe down in the comments section. A new state law takes effect January 1st that bans anyone under 18 from using tanning salons in Illinois so if you're in Chicago or any of the surrounding area unfortunately you gotta have a driver's license in B18 in order to get your orange spray tan on could you imagine if that law was passed in New York or New Jersey that would be crazy there would be outcries and riots in the street over here so also in Illinois you can return a pet or be reimbursed for veterinary costs if an illness was not disclosed by the seller so I recently adopted two cats I adopted one way back in June and I adopted a second one in December and they told us up front that there is a quote-unquote return policy here in New York that if your cat gets really really sick in the first two weeks of you owning it you could turn it return it to the shelter at no cost I thought that that was kind of weird it's like a lemon law for pets Employers in Oregon will not be allowed to advertise a job opening if they won't consider applicants who are unemployed. I mean, come on companies, don't screw over your competition by hiring all their workers. Instead, why don't you hire that guy who's definitely overqualified, but also wants to be overpaid, that just got out of college and has hundreds of thousands of dollars of school loans to pay off. That is the guy that you want to hire. Additionally in Oregon, privately run websites that feature police mugshots must take down the photos for free if subjects can show that they were not guilty or that the charges were dropped. I mean, who wants their mugshots to show up letting the world know that I was some cellmate's boyfriend at that federal pound me in the ass prison for some stupid shit that I did when I was younger. Family leave in Oregon has been expanded to allow eligible employees two weeks of paid leave to handle the death of a family member. I think two weeks is a bit excessive. You give them a couple 
couple days, you know, wake, funeral, bury, and then you build a bridge and get over it, just like the Eagles. So that's my list of the weird new laws that go into effect in 2014. In case I missed any of them, leave it down in the comments section. And additionally, what law makes the most and least sense to you? I think the sex offender thing where they can't dress up as Santa Claus, that's A-OK -okay by me. I don't want my child going home after being groped by somebody who can't stay within 200 feet of a playground or a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, and by the way, watch this at the end of the gameplay right here. Swag XBL shoots this guy, and then all of a sudden, dashboard. Are you kidding me, Infinity Ward? Where the fuck are the dedicated servers that you promised? Oh, and quick scoping's also eliminated for the game. And by the way, this runs on a brand new engine, too. <laughs> It's too bad Call of Duty Ghost doesn't have a two-week return policy like those cats. Anyways, I've been the Schwantz 27, and I'm off like a prom dress. Until next time.